The GE DVC cameras are available for checkout to both students and faculty for in-library use. These cameras are often used to document interviews in library study rooms. To reserve a study room, please see the library reference desk. Contact media services ahead of time if your instructor has not already done so, so that we may prepare the cameras for use. The camera comes with a tripod, a micro USB cable for transferring files and connecting to the power brick, and a power brick for charging. Press the power button on the upper left of the camera to turn the camera on. The screen will illuminate and you'll hear a chime. Press the record button to start and stop video recording. Press up on the silver four button toggle to zoom in and down to zoom out. Press the camera button to shoot a still image. To review your videos and pictures, press the play button. Press left of the silver four button toggle to view previous recordings. You'll notice that the video images will have a play button superimposed on the image itself. To play, press the record button. To delete, press the button with the trash icon next to it. Toggle to delete one and press the record button to delete. To go back to the main video screen, press the camera button. We recommend that you leave the settings as is so that your video files are a manageable size. You can customize video size and quality by pressing the menu button and pressing left on the silver four button toggle and record to enter and make the selection. Video sizes range from VGA to 14M. Quality from normal to best. Default settings are VGA and normal. Press menu to return to the main mode. To power down the camera, press the power button. To transfer video, you will be transferring from the camera to the laptop and then to your USB storage media device. Power on the laptop. Take the camera, press open the latch on the right side. A door will flip out to reveal a micro USB port. Connect the camera to the laptop. The camera will turn on in USB mode and take a moment to load onto the laptop. Double click my computer and wait for it to load. This can take about a minute. Computer has finally recognized the disk and labeled it GE DVZ. I will double click on that drive and we'll basically navigate the folders until we find videos and still images. We're looking for .jpeg files and .mov files. I can see a bunch of them inside here. I'm going to pull this aside for a second. I'm going to click on the desktop. What we want to do is create a new folder by right clicking down to new and folder. I'm just going to name this folder videos. I've just created a folder on the desktop. In order to copy my videos to that folder, we're going to highlight all the videos and still images from the camera and drag and drop to the new folder that I just created. I'll take a moment to copy.
Now we'll double click on that videos folder and just verify that they've actually made it in there. If I double click on one of the videos, it will open up in QuickTime. And we'll actually view the video to make sure that it's transferred. Everything seems to have transferred fine. At this point, we can delete the videos by pressing the delete key um, from the camera. I'm going to highlight everything I want to delete and hit delete, and then confirm that I actually want to delete it. You can also highlight everything in that, that folder with the stills and videos we don't need any of these files. You'll notice that that fills up the recycle bin. At this point, we can go down to where it says computer and we'll find the GEDBZ drive. We'll right click and go to eject. This ejects the camera. At this point, you can see that we're safe to remove the hardware. Now, we'll take our USB and we'll put it in the same USB slot in the laptop. If we double click on computer, we can see that we have a new drive called SCCC Media. If I double click on that, you'll see files in here. I just deleted one. And I'll take the video file folder and drag it over onto this new disk. This now copies from our computer the file folder that we created with our own stills and videos and copies it over to the USB storage device. Now it exists on the USB. I can go down to SEC Media, right click, and to eject. We're now safe to remove the hardware. Our videos are now on our USB drive. The last thing to mention is that you still have this folder with all your still images and videos on your desktop. Let's go ahead and drag that over to the recycle bin. And we can right click and empty recycle bin. This actually completely removes all of your stills and videos from the computer itself. Power down the computer and return the equipment. Thank you.